Are you excited to see your cousins? Yes. Wait, why Toronto? This is a photo of my cousins and that's me in the far right. My cousins, as well as my brother, all have kids. So this is her last trip before turning two and her chance to meet her cousins for free. I am walking her daughter because we're all jet lag. Saga woke up at, I think half past two or two, you know, ready to kick off the day. I thought we were gonna be fine because we arrived like in the afternoon and Saga wasn't sleeping on the plane so she was already really, really tired. So I thought she was gonna just stay awake till the evening and then fall asleep and wake up the next day. But tonight, hopefully if we can just keep her awake. But yeah, we're in Toronto. It's gonna be interesting. We're here uh, just for Saga to visit her family, her ex her huge family. In Sweden, she has all the attention. The only child here. She's amongst a lot of cousins. So we're excited for her to see them. We're excited for us to also get some inspiration. I've never been in this city in the summer. It's warm, it's vibrant. There's a lot of people outside. I've only been here in the winter time. And not just winter time, like pandemic time. So it's gonna be a whole complete different experience for me. But I'm excited. Now we just have to fight this jet lag. on the cat door my brother and and his wife have three cats they are away I'm assuming this is where they sleep good morning let me just go see how the rug rat is doing okay 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 let's do this remember that What's up your face? We're at my brother's house. And, oh, oh, his, him, his family. Um, but I grew up in this house. And it's massive compared to our home. But the the most like the standout yeah. thing here in Toronto, as well as in the US, but I'm not in the US, the variety. <laughs> Y'all have like <laughs> every flavors of teas and cereals and it's the access to all the products. And in Sweden, I feel like there's only like a few. Yeah. There's only like a couple. I'm here also. Yeah, Max is here. He's he's made, he's the chef. He's making I've had a little bit of an allergy attack here. Yeah. So I'm trying to stay off camera because there's cats here. Saga loves them. You like Liam a lot, don't you? <laughs> Liam, the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your first time meeting your cousins. So today, I uh, will we'll take you with us as we explore Toronto, um, oh, yeah. and the next few days. Farm. Okay. Thank you for breakfast. <laughs> Hello, mother-in-law. Child is sleeping. So this is my mother-in-law, Zenaida, who you've seen on this channel before. You're, we're now sitting on the front porch of the house that you bought. What year? Doing 1996. I was two years old. <laughs> and you bought this home. How much was it when you bought this home? 140. 140. Thousand. Canadian dollars. Yeah. And today, today it's valued for? 1 million. 
Wow. See, this, this woman, an immigrant woman who came to Canada, raised two child on her own, bought her own home for her own money, with her own mortgage, and paid it off. Yeah. And today, your son is living here. <laughs> yes. How does it feel? I miss the... I the miss garden the, work. The, the space. The space, yeah. Because yeah. you, you now live in a condo. The flowers. You see the flowers anymore. You still plant flowers there. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fascinating. Really, really likes grass. Yeah. <laughs> and you like plants. Yeah. 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 I like to cut that thing. <laughs> Maya's mom live around. I I jogged to your house yesterday. And it took me, and then I walked back. It took me thirty-five minutes to walk to your house. Faster. Oh, yeah. So you live. One. She lived pretty close. Like, like Kingston Road, down for the the main road. I don't remember. <laughs> I was just told your mom, asked her mom how it felt like to sit on this porch that she bought in 1996 and now being back here. How does mm -hmm. it feel for you? Because you were part of the buying process. You and I your was. Mom. I was a young little real estate yeah. <laughs> advisor. Okay. It was her choice. So mama, mommy, buy this because the ceiling is high. Oh. We used to live it in a basement. Yeah. So my thing from living in a basement is, where's the sun? Yeah. Please. <laughs> no more basement living. No more basement. But no, it feels good. I mean, it's so funny because when you're a parent, especially of two, they have two kids. Time to do what on what home? <laughs> yeah. This home needs a lot of work. It's nice to see the neighborhood change. Um, everyone's upping their landscaping game. Um, it wasn't like this before. I think that was the rise of social media with the YouTube and their videos and accessibility. Yeah. But today, we're gonna go walk a bit and then head downtown. We're taking the train. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, Ma. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> okay, so we are currently on the Danforth. Hello. Hello. Hi. Everything you need is on the Danforth. <laughs> so Danforth is like the main road and it goes from Danforth into Bloor. And we're walking on the Danforth show, so I'll show you what's on here. But we live on East Danforth and it's like pure Indian food and then we get further in and it's like Greek food and sprinkled in between is like Caribbean food and Chinese food and everything else you can think of. We are just walking because Saga's sleeping and um, there's a thrift store here. We're going to stop by because Max is looking for some cute little city looks. <laughs> For a subway? Uh, she was in, in Stockholm. Or but she was also in London. In Mexico City? Too. No, it's not the first time. <laughs> We're here at Bay Station. I'm taking you to Barnes and Nobles. It's huge! <laughs> <laughs> parents! Parents with a two year old. <laughs> Hi, 
We're in the city. <laughs> no, we have our Tim Hortons. This girl has finally shut the hole in her face and is enjoying her croissant. And oh, we are going to the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so over her! Okay, as many of you know, those things that they call the terrible twos. <laughs> I heard about them, but I was like, it can't get any worse than what we already no. have. It's worse. It's <laughs> worse. Just te temper tantrums. I want that shoe. No! I want this shoe. No! I want you to stand over there. Stand over there! No! Don't, don't look at me! No! Look at put me! Put your hands in the air. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so, uh, what do you call that? Demeaning? <laughs> what is it called? Um, demeaning. Oh, it's not Barnes and Nobles, it's Indigo. I have managed to subdue the beast. <laughs> She's found joy in these toys. She keeps thinking I'm gonna get them, and I'm like, you can play, what she just as long as they're not in a box. <laughs> totally rocks. You reading, Saga? Uh, yeah. Which book is this? I'm like, what am I reading here? Feminist, Feminist baby <laughs> finds her voice. I, I Feminist baby is learning to talk. Okay, I got some time to escape, <laughs> to flee, <laughs> and I'm looking at these books in the uh, the Christian section. So I'm looking at this book, thinking about getting that for my mom. I don't know if she's gonna like it. So, anyways, I'm looking at some books to get. They don't have the books that I want. I wanted to get. Praying Through the Names of God by Tony Evans, suggested by uh, Seon uh, on my Patreon group. Shout out to my Patreon girls. But we, her and I did a one-on-one -on -one because we'd be doing the live streams there. So that book I wanted to get, they don't have it here, so I'm gonna get on Amazon. I have the audiobook Dr. Francis Miles on issuing divine restraining orders in heaven. I really enjoyed the audio, but I want the book so I can highlight and read it. They don't have any of those here. Did you find any book? <laughs> no, I did not find... Well, I found loads of books and I just like to s like look over the, the sort of range but um, I didn't find anything that I felt that I needed that much to buy. Like the, and I got to play with Saga while Maya looked for books. And I'm happy, I'm just happy being out. It's cool to be back. Yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> you won't notice. <laughs> I was gonna feel Why did my you your hair? <laughs> insert photo, <laughs> insert photo of, of how I look. Notice how confident and like like satisfied I am about the whole look. In comes my, my yeah. I was just like, oh, he's he's serving Hasidic Jews. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I'm the curl hair expert. Like it yeah. made me want to do your hair. Anyway, where are we at? Where are we? We're feeling lemonade. That's all. You want bubble tea? I want lemonade. We're on Young Street, which is like uh, oh, questionable. Was this where we had like ramen ones? No, everything you're thinking of is Queen Street. Oh, okay. scream ever so I had to come and check it sounded just like something I found them I found my family the women the women in my life I got this hat I got this little scarf I got a shirt but um, I've been doing secondhand shopping and new shopping so that feels better hey -do. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's it feel like you have a 
that much, but like we've been out for so long. Yeah, it's far. Yeah. A lot of ground to cover. A lot of ground to cover. So now we're on the train again, on our way back home. After a full long day in the sea. These country folks are moving slowly. <laughs> These two girls are done for the day. We're in the whip, we're going to church, and yeah, this is, it's nine o'clock in the morning, and we are ready. We borrowed Maya's uh, mom's car, um, and so Maya's doing the driving. It'll be fun, they have a daycare. They have a daycare. <laughs> She's happy. It was so good. Huh? What do you think of church? Yeah, it was good. I really like the worship. Yeah. I, like, worship always gets me. So I wanted to bawl my eyes out, but I didn't. <laughs> I like the music. <laughs> I like singing. Yeah. It was good. For me, I really valued it because. Um, we live in where we live. Yeah. And there's like, there is a church. I really should go. Yeah. But the language, all of that, the culture, just it was just nice to be around people. I can understand everything. Many of you might not know this, but like, I never used to go to church at all until I met Maya and she introduced me to the mosaic, t mosaic in LA, Los Angeles. Yes. And that was the first time I went to church and felt like this is fun. Because I've just used to like new Lutheran churches in Sweden where it's very like, it's just very like not relatable for me. It's like um... Sorry, I'm trying to fix out sar fix sagas. For some reason, although I don't like practice the Bible like I do every day, I would love if there was a church like this close to our home. Because I would go every Sunday. Because I feel like it's a nice, you, the Sunday become intentional, the Sunday becomes about you and your family and not work. And it makes the Sunday more purposeful, and it, it's a good way to wrap up the week and 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 look forward to the next week. I know that if we were to live in a city or where this would be accessible, I would go for sure because it's so much fun. And they had a daycare, oh, so yeah. we put Saga nice. in a daycare, and they were so nice. They were playing so well. Saga was screaming her head off before we left, but they're like, "Hi!" <laughs> and we came back. She was just mad, chilling in a baby chair, like. <laughs> In the baby bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave them a number, and if they were things were to go out of control, uh, then that number would be um, displayed on the auditorium. On the screen, but the no, screen. no number came up. But no number came up, so we're fine. Now we are on our way to McGregor Park. Yeah. Uh, there is a splash pad, which is like water coming out of the ground. It's supposed to be 29 degrees today, so we're gonna go there. Saga's gonna run around and um, we're gonna get to catch up with one cousin for Saga and a bunch of cousins for me. Maya's driving the car. I'm not sure if your mom wants me to drive this car. She's very particular. Yeah, no. She probably is okay with me driving. <laughs> we're in the West End. Bathurst somewhere. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Saga is resting, the rest of us are cooling down. <laughs> no, no, yeah, okay. it's yum, yum. Sorry, it had to be done. <laughs> hey! Oh, 
this is awesome. Five plus. Saturday morning, we are having Saga's birthday. We're baking cakes, and we really wanted to do a Pippi theme, but that's proving to be so hard um, here when we don't have daycare. <laughs> so I was like, and Saga is, she's not an independent player. She like needs to be around me, she needs to be near me, or an, around a, a woman, a mother, who she can feel safe. I don't know. She's, <laughs> she has her preferences. Like when I'm with Saga, it's full-time Saga. Back to the party and get ready. So we'll see you at the party. This is the moment, the moment where Saga and all her cousins are celebrated and it's gonna be so much fun. Oh, oh, oh. Easter cake. <laughs> it looks like the Swedish flag. Yeah, we brought the Can you job, tell that it's mine? No, you my didn't first really nail polish for Manicure. Show, show Papa, show Papa. Yeah. Whoa! Let me see. Let me show your hands like this. Show me your hands. Yeah. Oh, oh, mak nak kanan, mak kepal, mak gila, gila, gila. Great job, my love. We did it. We made cakes. We got manicures. So maybe how do you feel about this? Her daughter turning two. Good. She's a toddler. I think she already turned two. <laughs> she, I feel like two. <laughs> Show the camera. Show them your nails. She yeah. walks around like this because she's so worried about them too. She doesn't want to get her nails ruined. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's clean this up and we have another four hours before people come here. So. Is Matt? Oh, Max. Matt, Max. <laughs> it's it's pandemonium inside. The family is here. I didn't even think to vlog. Max said, "Can you get the vlog camera?" And then I was like, "Yeah, right. That the, part." The ironic part is, this is the birthday girl. <laughs> the birthday girl is passed out. She's not used to this lot family. She's a Swedish girl. So, Filipino families, big ones, oh, I love it. are very. I'm, um, I'm climatized now. What do you call it? Climatized? Very, yeah, you said it right. Are very um, affectionate and very in your face and personal space and don't give two hoots. But Saga's like, ah! they're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> She's not used to that. She's not used to it. <sighs> okay. You know that Saga is like shy when she crawls up to me like a bull and she was like holding me like this. Yeah, downstairs. yeah. Yeah, she was like retreating into like my armpit. I'm like, there's nothing else behind my armpit, Saga. She just kept going back. I'm not gonna let her sleep too long. One hour max. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back because that's there's fine. so many people. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's go to the back. 
And then there's my mom. I'm done. And there's my mom. And and then you buy a set of can vlog. You're vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging. Um, my name is Michael. Graham is related to me, and I have video games at home. Okay. Is this the Graham cam that I've heard so much about? Yeah, interviewing. <laughs> Interview my friend. Hi. Ask her who she is. Who are you? My name is Linda, and I've been friends with Maya since we were 17, 18 years old. Whoa! Dancer friends! So cool! So cool! Interview her! Hi, what's your name? Josephine. What do, what three things about yourself? Three things about myself. I'm Maya's friend, I live downtown Toronto, and I have a dog. That's really good. <laughs> That's okay, really now you're good. good. That is one extra one. Hi, uh, this is uh, this is an interview for my for uh, his name is Uncle Greg. Um, Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. I don't know who you are, but I am Uncle Greg, and I'm enjoying this vegan cookie. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. I did. I give you uh, here. That was so cool. Um, maybe if you search up my name, you could find me on uh, CBC Gem and Giselle's Mashup Adventures. I did acting there. Um, and what are you doing there? Yeah? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Saga. Happy birthday to you. Maybe your cousins can help you. Being back home in Toronto was so heartwarming. Not only for Saga to meet her family, her cousins, but also for Max and I to spend time with my family who we haven't seen for three years. We're looking forward to creating more memories and witness the impact it has on our daughter. <laughs>